Welcome to Ground Control and in this tip I will show you how I got this load meter working on a 1S power setup. Link to the power meter, load meter, watt meter, uh, whatever nomenclature you want to use. Uh, there will be a link to it in the show notes. So I, I've had this for a couple of years now and it has served me well. Um, I have not burned up any motors, any speed controllers, and I haven't puffed any batteries because of the information that this unit has given me. I've made sure that all of my power components were within the limits, so it seems to be fairly accurate. Um, in the specs, it states that you need a minimum of 4.8 volts for this meter. Well, on a 1S power system, even if it's an LIHV, it's only 4.35 volts. So what I did my balance charger has a couple of USB ports on it that supplies 5 volts at 2.1 amps. So I took one of my old USB cables, clipped the end off of it, I crimped on some servo pins and supplied 5 volts to this unit and the meter illuminated. It looked like it was going to work and then I hooked up my one cell LiPo to the source uh, end of the or source side of the meter and then uh, plugged in the load side of the meter into the speed controller and I wasn't getting anything. It wasn't, it wasn't telling me the voltage of the LiPo. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't power the motor up. It was like there was nothing, there was no voltage from the battery passing through the unit to the speed controller. And that was five volts. So I was pretty disappointed with that. So the other night I was online searching for a load meter that would work with a 1S power setup and I didn't find anything. I found another meter that was similar to this one that had a link to the PDF manual and so I took a look at the PDF manual and as I was reading through it that meter stated that it needed a minimum of 8 volts to work with you know less than the the size battery that you would need to power the entire system. So I thought, hmm, you know, it's got these three little pins here on the side, on the end, where you can attach the external power. And that's, that's where I attach the 5 volts from the servo pins to power this unit on at 5 volts. So I thought, I pulled out one of my little two-cell LiPos, 8.4 volts, that had a JST connector on it, and I'll be darned if... The JST connector didn't slide right over the the um, the hot wire and the ground wire pins, and it worked. And then I went ahead and I hooked it up to my test rig with my 1S power system, and I took my little 1S 300 mil amp lipo and connected it to the source side, connected the load side up to my speed controller, my 1S speed controller, and lo and behold, it it powered up and I was able to run the motor up and it was giving me the current, the amount of current that it was drawing at full throttle or however, however much you know throttle I was giving it. And what I like about this meter is that it may, until you disconnect the power from it, it will maintain the highest current draw. So after I shut the motor off, the meter will cycle through all the information and, and lo and behold there was the the maximum amount of current or maximum amount of amps that the system was drawing through the 1S power system. Now there was one eccentricity that I found with this and that is, and I, and I put a multimeter on the battery, the source battery, before I connected it. Now the unit showed that there was 4.05 volts DC going attached to the to the meter. On the multimeter it showed that the battery had 4.25 volts because I had previously charged it at 4.35 so it still had 4.25 volts in it so the meter was showing 0.2 volts fewer than what the battery was actually supplying so then I put my multimeter on the load side how much voltage is going into the speed controller 4.25 volts going into the speed controller so I don't know why the meter was only registering or displaying 4.05 volts. So, so the voltage that was displayed was 0.2 volts 
less than than what was actually coming through the unit from the battery. Now, I also paid attention to the amp meter, and the amp meter was showing zero. So it wasn't displaying any amps going through the meter, and there were, you know, that was before I uh, powered up the motor. So it, I think that the amount of amp draw that this displays is going to be fairly accurate. Accurate enough, I think, that you're going to be able to pick the right speed controller and you know if you know the rating for your motor um, and you test it with this unit you know you'll, you'll be able to stay within the limits the amount of amp draw that this motor was pulling it's 1103 10,000 kV motor with a 65 millimeter prop two and a half inch prop and I believe it has a two and a half inch pitch and I think the amount of current draw uh, at full throttle was around 2.4 2.5 amps and I think that's that's in line with what I would expect it to be pulling on a 1S LiPo system looking at what it pulls on a 2S system. So I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty close to what it's actually pulling through the meter. So I'm going to be using this from now on for my 1S power systems with my external, you know, 2S uh, battery with the JST connector on it. Let's go ahead and I'll hook it up to the rig so you can actually see it working off of a 1S power system. Okay, so hopefully you can see the numbers on the on the unit itself. As you can see, it's showing no amp draw currently. It's showing 4.05 volts, which was the eccentricity I was talking about because the battery is at 4.25 volts, and my multimeter shows that the SC is actually receiving 4.25 volts. So if I go ahead and I spin this motor up, let me arm it here, now you can see it's it's starting to register a drop in voltage and it's starting to register the amp draw. Okay, so that was showing with a fully charged battery, it was showing about three amps. Yeah, 2.97 amps, which is about what I would expect for this size motor and this size prop on a 1S LiPo. So I think that the amount of current that the unit is recording is going to be pretty darn close to what the actual amp draw is. And like I said, it will, it will, I think it will be close enough that will allow you to, to compute what size battery you need, what C rating on your battery you need to supply the amount of amps that the, that motor and prop are going to require. So that is the way that I was able to use this meter not only for 2S power systems and higher but also able to use it as a 1S uh, load meter at the same time. So there's a tip for you. So if you have one of these meters this is how I got mine set up so that I could actually meter my 1S power systems. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the air.